All right, now I'm going to show you how to take the screenshot that we just took, or both of your screenshots, <clears throat> and how to open each one in Google Drawings, because that is where we're going to do our annotating, our kind of sharing of thoughts. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this, and I have my files pulled up here. My This is kind of like all the places my stuff can be, my Google Drive, my downloads, um, your files icon looks like this the little blue guy if he's not down here which most of you do not have them down there you can always find it down here in the circle but anywho um we're gonna open google drawings now you can see mine is right here because i've opened it recently but um you can just search google drawings and you'll see the little red icon here um, if it doesn't come up we'll just have to install it so that's no big deal um, but I'm going to go ahead and click it. It's going to open in a tab. And when you open it, it looks kind of blah. It looks like nothing. There is a blank campus here. The checkerboard um, with gray and white just means it's transparent background. So first thing before I even do anything, I'm going to title it kind of whatever that screenshot is about. So um, it was about air pollution for children. All right, so from here, I'm going to put my screenshot, that picture file, into Google Drawings. So I'm going to go insert image because it's a picture file. And then we're going to upload it. So choose image. Or you can drag and drop, but I find this is easier. And then when you screenshot, it always goes to your download. So make sure you're there. And we're going to pick that. Get rid of that box and select the screenshot and you only want to put one in at a time so open it'll upload and voila you've got your screenshot there now this is not all we're doing in google drawings obviously we're going to insert some text shapes lines arrows uh, really quick Let's say I really want to pull out that number right there, 300 million children. That's a crazy amount of kids that are suffering from air pollution problems. So I'm going to select a shape here, and I'm going to draw a box around that 300 million. I'm going to change the fill up here and make it transparent so it doesn't block out the words. Did that right here the bucket that's fill color and then I'm gonna make the line around the box red to make it kind of pop out so see how I did that I wanted to pull out those words and make them really stand out um, I could also say like oh my gosh you know we need to realize that there are health risk I can insert an arrow pointing away from there um, I can make that arrow bigger by changing the line weight like that. Oops, just delete that. Um, I can insert um, kind of like caption bubbles um, to insert my text box into. So let's say I want to use that. Probably want to move my arrow a little bit. I can rotate it. I'll rotate that in a sec. And then text box. I can put my text box in my little bubble there and share my thoughts there. Like, <clears throat> the main thing is I want to hear your thoughts and why you think this part is important. So, uh, can you believe this? Children should not have to worry about air quality and breathing safely again I'm just literally making this up as I'm going you will have more thought put into yours obviously I can change the color I can change the size make it that a little bit bigger we don't text we don't want text too small I'm gonna center that up a little bit Okay, so I continue um, annotating on my screenshot until I get it the way that I want it. 
And then we have one final step, which I will be back to share that with you in just a moment. 